sure. I have a question. It might sound simple, but I really need to know. What is practice? People say practice, practice, don't know what it is. <laughs> practice means you, you will step out of your zone of comfort, first of all. Mm -hmm. Again, practicing and playing are two different things. Suppose you're organizing your time. In our study program, we, we need a minimum of 20 minutes. If someone has 20 minutes to practice, he can join the course. We don't need more time. It's not about five, six hours, three hours. Nobody does this thing well. You know how many people came and said, I will practice five hours, I will practice three. Hmm. They can't because they don't know how. And they actually don't know the meaning of practice. Practicing is about things that you don't have yet. And playing stuff, they th people think, say, I practice five hours a day. So yeah, how you practice? Well, I play this, play this, play that. They wander all over 20 million things, which is not actually practice. <laughs> That's why we said, wait, just 20 minutes. And we have an order also of, of, of switching days, day one to nine. We do technique, rhythm, repertory, playing pieces, improvisation, spontaneous creativity, theory, chords, and we have to know where to do what and how much of it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's like self-medicating thing. Practice is, the, is what will upgrade your, your, your play, but is it coming up or not? So in the result itself, you know if you know what is the definition. The, Kenny Werner, I learned this from him. He said the difference is that playing is about playing what you own. But practicing, there you have to, to, to do an inventory of what you need. That people cannot do it alone. This is the problem. You need a guideline. When you have the guideline of someone who already passed to that stage, or at least have to be someone who plays better than you, or, or if it plays much, much better, but personally, not watching a video. Mm -hmm. Watching a video, you cannot learn. You can learn 5% at most. You need to be assessed and examined and, and helped, assisted directly, personally. What customized you customized for you, customized for you. Yeah, so like what we did now with the theory. I cannot come and say what I would tell wow. any other person. Because this guy, if I don't come on all the they will ask me, and now I, I, I don't want you the same thing. It's not possible because you need another thing. What you need is another thing and also in another level. And, 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 and how you explain someone who does not read music this? How you explain this? To, because actually the amazing thing is you are knowing with this class, same like other people who went to the school and you did them for, for years. For years. And now you don't say how. Because I know what you need and how if the weak spots you have which create doubts. Yeah, this eliminating doubts, this is what is practice. Otherwise you are, people think they practice and they keep they they have more doubts than before. <laughs> then they one day hopefully call me, like these friends came the other two days ago. I said, my God, I really need help. I am not advancing. I am stuck totally. I am saying, what? I said, in everything I am stuck. Why? Because they became disorganized. They don't know anymore how to practice and what practice is. This practice means that you don't make a big deal out of it. You just have to improve what you did yesterday. We record everything on the unlisted videos. Today I play at this speed, the scales or rhythm or anything. Last April I was playing like this. Now I am doing this, and this is where I want to go. But this is there recorded, not I think, I guess. Baby, well, I guess it's right. No, this thing, this is not practice. This is all people who don't know the definition. And then this definition is so powerful that it's, it's materials that you need to learn. And it's not playing, it's not about playing, it's about stepping inside your zone of comfort. And when you can step outside, your zone of comfort, mm -hmm. your life becomes comfortable. This is the only way. <laughs> Otherwise, the comfort is just uh, in laziness or in becoming uh, too many branches and not focus. Also, practice is not something that don't, that you don't do with full concentration. So it also practicing implies also that you know how to do it, what it is, and then you actually doing it. Mm -hmm. with full attention and if you do with full attention then it, it, it really you never forget it 
this what we did in the course, I am sure you will not forget it. No, maybe details of some stuff there just four years after. Remember when we said this thing? And people say, say yeah, or and they, they really remember. Yeah, but they did from the workshops before and the knowledge in the class before, and they could pull it out and read it. They have it. it. How it's much? Make more than 90%. It's yeah. there. So if some detail we forget, of course, we are not a, a photocopy machine, but some things we maybe forget. But just like how we explain this. How many principles? How you can forget? So if you have keep keep a, a stock in something, not advancing, or bored, or actually uh, going away mm -hmm. from from play, from practicing and playing from the music itself, yeah. then know that you don't know what practice is. This is the very symptom that we don't know what it is. So like Pac also. What's, Whenever there were you know, many politics here, the tradition attacking, etc. He has to go to live to Mexico for further. Actually, he died there for 38 years. He lived in Mexico. But only the music Paco composed, he composed it there. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then some of course guys came there and said, This guy says this, this guy says that, this. They said that Sirocco is that, that Siriab is the labor critics and criticism. Yeah. And, and then he said, Yeah, this means they are not practicing. <laughs> because the time, the time they are using, instead of using their time That's right. on themselves, <laughs> because they don't know the definition of practice, they better criticize others. Or also becoming diffuse or unfocused by watching too much other stuff. Mm -hmm. People generally go to you to watch one thing and think they are practicing that way. <laughs> yeah. That's also not, 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 not true. That sentence, I don't say don't do it, this is what to do it, do it. I have no problem with it. But when you practice, you sit there, record your practice, put the metronome, do five minutes of proper practice. It's a lot of time. Mm -hmm. But you know the definition. We are trying to handle things which are we are don't control yet. Yeah. And it's a gradual process, it has to be verified, you need coaching on this thing to verify that you are doing the right thing. And then, that the fact that you know the definition of practice will show itself by your own playing better. Because the result of this good practice is that you can play, actually. You can play every time more. You can grab more material faster. The that's, result that speaks for itself. That's right. This is all. That's why practice has to be. This is a great question. What practice is? And if you ask, ask this to any musician, what is practice of the instrument? They don't know really what this. I also didn't know until I got these great masters, Kyle Lance, and then of course I followed them, and Kenny Werner is the most amazing one on this thing, because he also realized it. The knowledge has to be transmitted by someone who already knows. Mm -hmm. right? That's why you teach me yourself, is you are just going around the same way forever, and then, then of course you get offended when, when someone points out that maybe you don't have rhythm. Uh, or like Paco was asked, how do I know I am practicing right? Or someone asked him at dinner, and he said, do you have a metronome? <laughs> because if you don't have a metronome, and never use it, then he even recorded this in Cositas Buenas, the, this, Cuando Venga Lamba, this piece with Camarón de la Isla. How he recorded that? Because he had the recordings from the uh, from the early 80s or something with Camarón and then those tracks which didn't, pieces that didn't came well he stored that, those tracks there and then now he chose parts of those and put it together and play in now in modern times, right? Well, right. Not now because he died, you know, some years ago when he recorded that why? because there was a click there wasn't any click in the recording and then now they, of course they can, they can do it they can do a million things so even for recording, Paco de Lucia innovated with this steadiness and rhythm and the use of the metronome in everything, of course. He also told Faru, you have seen the dancers saying okay. that, that Paco advised him to use metronome. So why people don't use it, don't ask me. They prefer, they prefer diagrams that tell pointer things that tell one, two, three, four, five, six, what is this thing? Is this, this is telling you the rhythm or softwares of this or that? The software also will not make you play it. This is what is not practice. That's what all people, we also use uh, jam tracks of percussion, but we know what is why. 
And the first training we do is with this guy. That's right. First we have the metronome. When we have metronome on the control of this thing, then now we can play with percussions or with softwares or with anything, or with musicians, live musicians, no problem. But because we know what practice is. Pac also shows it in his own playing shows he knows what is to practice. Practice means about you and, 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 and about having also guideline. And then there is only growth, growth and satisfaction will come. If you are unsatisfied, that means you don't know how to practice. You are forgetting about music, people play for, for hobby, sometimes say, you know what, they put the guitar apart five years because... I yeah, you know, get it's... tired, you get tired, no result, you get tired. I I'm, I'm not going anywhere, you know, of course I understand. But now the, the next question is, what were you doing? Do you know what practice is? No, and therefore to ask. <laughs> that <laughs> it was a question, <laughs> thank you. Un nervioso que descubrí ahí en la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso. Sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.